we descend not just as native people, we believe we all native. The in European people, the Celtic culture, they were native people in Europe. You know, we come from one root. The, the wisdom of the earth, the wisdom of the people is the traditional life, is the life before the king, before the empire. It's simple. You live as a family, like uh, several family living together. When people live together, there was that good symbiosis. Their main search was for food. The rest, they make their own instrument, musical instrument to dance, to enjoy life, to celebrate life. The way that our ancestor live, our ancestor of our humanity live together, sharing food, take care of the land, and uh, enjoying life as a communal. You cannot succeed alone. It's actually a paradise when you live in the Amazon. On the land, in the jungle, we have many different fruits, wild nuts, berries, and uh, that only the people who live in the jungle knows them. There's no word for uh, tilling the soil. There's no word for uh, clearing the forest, the jungle, to make a garden, subsistent garden. Why there's no word? Because it is a paradise. born in Manawaki. My people are called the Anishinaabe and they were given the name Algonquins. Our culture was based on like respecting the land. You have to respect it at all times. So again, you only take what you need and you do it in a respectful, humane manner. The four medicines we use sacredly are sweetgrass, cedar, sage, and tobacco. This is cedar. You could boil it in a tea. Put a cloth over your head and put your face over like the tea. The steam that comes off of this will help clear your system out. And you could drink the tea also and that's supposed to help with colds. To show respect to Mother Earth, the environmental part of our, of our creation, is to respect uh, the waters. And the, and the creatures that dwell in those waters and the, and the vast forests of our creation. All the, all the four-leggeds, the wing, and the ones that, uh, that crawl on the ground. We honor these because they all have their own things that they do as far as Mother Earth goes. They all have a way of looking after something. They're put there to do what, what they're supposed to do. And, and when you think about it, it says everything in there. It's almost the whole story about our Mother Earth, our medicine wheel. Everything is in there. Everything is in there. Like the four colors of the, of the people are in there. It's a universal wheel. It's everybody's wheel. It's not just the native people. The seven medicine wheel teaching is humility, generosity, courage, respect, honesty, wisdom, and love. Making those seven grandfather teachings ours, we have to take one teaching at a time and gauge it to who you are. Seven cycles of our life is there. We live each one of those as we go along. Each individual person that crosses this has a whole life story that they can tell. When they're over here sitting as an elder, they can reflect back to the time when they first started. You're realizing all those things that you went through is what you become. You become that person to teach people what you went through. And we all, we all have that. We all have to reflect back and see what we've done. Supposing a young person started, look at how much beneficial you could be. So you could look at all the look at all the beautiful life you can have along along the period. Whereas for me, it started at 50. Vakuru. Uh, Vakuru means like um, ancestral beliefs that have been there for generations and have been shared from generation to generation to. Uh, teach people about the values of respect and um, not to abuse nature because it's been passed on from generation to generation and we need to keep maintaining that belief to future generations. When you look at the surrounding African countries they have about the same uh, V 
feel about everything about life, about the environment, about the forest, about the trees, about the plants, about the animals, and it makes it easier, like a, a, a big system whereby everyone plugs into it. And most of the cultures that I know of try to link themselves with each other. I have friends from Zambia, from Zimbabwe, from Ghana, from Senegal, from uh, from Congo, and I try to ask them, hey, what do you guys feel about this? Am I the only one feeling this way about certain things in the environment? And they tell me, oh, it's the same, we also have this, we have that. And I say to myself, what if there is a system whereby it's a, it's a universal culture for a, a continent where everything is connected and the same?